in 40 years to stop practicing racism, and you haven't stopped yet. But I'm just yes. wondering, will relations improve or deteriorate as a result of all this discussion? Are we going to move this forward, Miss Ali, and I'll go around the horn. Miss Ali first. Well, I think that it certainly is going to move a lot of black people forward because now they know that they can maybe speak out and express themselves. And that's very important that people can express themselves because most of my people have been so scared that, you know, we don't talk about things. But I think one thing that's not going to help us is right now in Ohio, I'm over here in Ohio, there's a bill in our legislature that's going to allow people, we already can carry concealed guns in bars over here, but now we're going to be able to carry a gun in church, in daycare centers, a concealed weapon, in government wow. building and colleges. Now, you know, all we need Ms. is Sully, somebody to come into the IRS I, building I, with I, a gun. I'm going to interrupt you. Well, it could be a publicity stunt. We've had a lot of big ones in this country, you know, equal opportunity, integration, Social equality. We've had a lot of publicity stuff. Well, I wanted to say that, you know, white people did think the earth was flat until some white explorers came to Egypt and got the information from some black men that it was round. So I think hey, if Ali, we all go back to our own communities in this and start looking around, Please. trying to, you know, help solve those murders, that we could continue on with this judicial idea that we have and hold the courts accountable for finding the people that are killing us. I think what happened is that since Zimmerman is going around passing for white, and I think it's the custom in all of those police departments not, not to arrest what the white media men for killing as. black males the media that they didn't want to deal with it. The and they weren't going to deal with it until there was an outcry from our community. Mark, help me he out wasn't here. Portrayed I would like that to know the, the nationalities of those 11 police officers First you claim all, were there. Mark. Well, that's because... We have been here over 400 years, and, and I know that you all don't want to hear that. You don't want to talk about that. And we feel that we have been abused, and now you all don't want us anymore. We're not good for anything. You got the Latinos now, and they love America. We're still angry. We carrying our grudges. You all can't get comfortable with us. And so this is the thing that whenever Who's something we? like that happens, Who's and we? one of us get kills, we feel the same, for? Uh, Dr. no Dr. sanctuary feelings. And it's, oh, massa, y'all done went and killed us again. And we feel that Dr. same Dr. thing Dr. inside of us. And it goes on and on. And then we get so frustrated, we want to do something. You know what? Every history book in this country is a lie. Everything that has she been lied. written about She's who did liar. what, who invented she what, lied. has been a lie. We do not get recognition or credit for hey, anything Ali, we have contributed to this country. Amendment. So she don't talk to me about lying, because y'all are the biggest liars on the planet. Well, I think that sometimes when you're trying to get a point out, it gets a little excited. And I know sometimes I get a little excited, but I'm really trying to explain something. I always try to come out and defend black men. They are the original man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, God of the universe. We have a good man, but a lot of times in the media, the black man is always set up to be the worst guy on the earth and be bad. And he's not bad, he's good. And as always, Yahweh, all day, every day. Peace.